again everyone and thanks for joining us for another quick little tips and tricks video on how to use some of the cool features on your Mac. Um, today I'm going to show you just some of the basics of iMovie which is again one of the cooler programs that come on your Mac. Um, it really allows you to create some really cool home videos or highlight films for you know your kids playing sports or really anything like that but a lot of people when they open it might be a little overwhelmed by it. It's fairly straightforward once you kind of learn what everything is. So I'm just going to show you just a couple things to hopefully get you the ball rolling for you so you can figure out what's going on. So when you open up iMovie, here's your basic window. It's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of tricks or anything like that to it. Um, so to break down kind of what everything is, is this little section right here is where you're going to be doing most of your editing. So this is where you're going to want to put your footage and where you're going to do most of your edits. And I'll show you some of that here in just a second. This right here is your preview window so you can see kind of what's going on and how everything's progressing and um, whether everything looks the way you want it to look. Right down here is just kind of you know your files and the various projects you're working on and um, you see it's broken down. I only have one event in this profile just to kind of show you what everything is. This right here is your raw footage that you'll import from your camera or your phone or your tablet. So you can kind of see um, you know, what you have to work with and kind of similar to you know, iPhoto when you can move your mouse across the events and you can kind of get a preview of what's in there. Same thing here. You can just move your mouse along the event and you can kind of see what's going on and what everything's doing and stuff like that. So um, you can click on Project Library and this will take you on your various different projects you are working on. And you just, if you had multiple ones, it'll list them right here and you just click on it and click Edit Project and it would take you in to show you what's going on. So that's kind of your basic layout. And then I'll show you kind of a couple. Um, I'll show you kind of how it works. So, um, the first thing you'll want to do is you're going to want to go up File and New Project, and it's going to give you a bunch of different themes. So again, you can kind of just look at them, see if they're the kind of theme that you'd like to do, and it gives you this nice little preview window here of what your video could look like and how they work. Or you can do a movie trailer. These are really cool for YouTube. So if you want to do something real quick and real nice, this is actually all outlined for you. And it actually tells you what kind of shots to do. And it pretty much assembles everything for you. You just have to supply the information. Um, but I'll get into that a little bit more some other time. We're just going to do a basic video here. And I'm not going to do a theme because um, I want to show you some more of the tricks. If you pick a theme, it kind of predetermines your um, transitions and text, which you can change, but you know, I want to start with no theme. You'd name your project, you'd want your aspect ratio, more often than not, it'll be 16 by 9. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and click create. Now we have our new project just right here. And you see now we have multiple projects. To add footage, what you're going to want to do is come down here and just mouse along the video and when you want to start let's say I want to start right there I'm just gonna click and highlight just like I would if I was highlighting text within like word or pages or something like that and you keep going and as I go it counts up for how long um, I have selected so right there I have three seconds worth of video selected put my mouse over it you unclick first and then you'll see you'll have this highlighted section and then you'll move your mouse over and you'll get a hand click on that to dra uh, grab it and then you just drag that up here into your uh, project area and drop it. And that's how you begin to start making your video. And then you just kind of wash, rinse, repeat with that. You just keep going and find different sections. So if you want to add maybe, you know, just for fun, we'll just do, start right here. Again, highlight a little bit more, you know, four seconds, drag and drop. And you just keep going along as, as you go right here. And it's um, the footage are, is arranged kind of like a book. So you go left to right, top to bottom. Um, and that's how it's arranged. And that's how it will arrange up here unless you click this button. Then it goes into a much more uh, linear format. So that's how you add footage to a, to a video. The cool thing is iMovie integrates into all of your stuff. So if you click on the little music icon right here, this is all your music from iTunes. 
And to add a song, if I had songs in this list, you would just click it, drag it, and drop it into the video. And that will allow you to add music. You'd be able to add certain sections of songs. You could add multiple songs. Um, you could really customize that any way you see fit. And it's just by dragging and dropping from this section up to here. If I click on the little uh, camera button, these are your photos from iPhoto. And again, I'll click on events, and this should just look very similar to what you see when you're within iPhoto. And if you want to add photos, same similar trick. Highlight what you want to add and drag it and drop it. And then you have a photo within your video here. You got the T, which is just basically for texts. Um, so if you want to add text to your video, so maybe you want to have kind of like an intro, you can go with this right here and you just click it, drag it, and drop it. And then we'll add text and then see you can change the text right here. You'd click done and then you can actually change the length of it just by clicking on it and moving it around and you know dragging out the ends and stuff like that to really uh, change the length of the text. You can add transitions from uh, cut to cut or picture to picture. So there's a lot of really cool transi transitions and it gives you um, previews of what they'll look like when you mouse over them. So if you want to add one of these, again, you just very straightforward, click it, drag it and drop it, and place it in between where you want the transition to happen. So once you do that, just go ahead and mouse over it, press spacebar, and you get your transition. Really simple, really straightforward. This button right here allows you to add globe effects. So if there's traveling, you get kind of that cool, you know, Indiana Jones traveling globe effect where it'll get, take you from point A to point B type of thing. Um, this is kind of a cool newer feature of iMovie. This button right here allows you to narrate and do a voiceover. So you can voice over the uh, video you're looking at, which is really cool. You can do a full screen preview just by clicking this button. This button just, go, just goes ahead and plays it from the very beginning, just like that, just in your preview window. You can also, if you're within a photo, you get this little button right here. This is a cropping button. You just double click on that. And then you, it's default to do, a, to do a Ken Burns effect, which is basically just like a pan and scan type thing. And then you got your start box and end box. And then you see you can do stuff like that. It's kind of a cool effect. Or if you just want it to fit, just click fit and done. And then your photo is just kind of there. So that's just a really nice way. Is if, if you add photos and if it crops off certain sections of the photo you want, um, you can change that just with that button there. As you mouse over certain clips, you'll get this little gear that's more of a settings button you'll click on that and then you can do precision editor which allows you to pretty much merge two clips together to at the very second you want them merged so then um, if you want it to cut just perfectly you'd want to go into precision editor to get it exactly where you want it to be like if you're switching camera angles and if you have multiple cameras shooting that's what you'd want precision precision editor to do you got a clip trimmer, which is pretty, you know, self-explanatory. If you want to add a little bit more cl clip or uh, remove a little bit of clip that's already in the video, that's what you'd use that for. You got clip adjustments, which uh, allows you to adjust the duration. You can also add cool video effects. And again, over in your preview window over here on your right, you get um, a preview of what it'll look like with these video effects. You just mouse over it, just like that. You can add audio effects, so if you have audio, you can really change the way that everything sounds. And again, you can mouse over it and see how it uh, changes for, um, for each effect. This is really kind of cool. You can actually reverse it. So I'll click reverse right here. And you can actually change um, the speed of it as well. So you can, do, uh, you can speed it up or put it into super slow-mo. So I'm just going to speed it up. We'll see Tyson doing some work in reverse and a little bit faster. <laughs> Not a lot of time there, but you get a general gist. It just it really sped up the way it looked and the way it, it worked. Turn off reverse and get that back to normal. You can do image stabilization. So if there's a really shaky camera, 
this will smooth that out really nicely um, make it look a lot better um, you can go into your video um, adjustments to adjust color um, if you don't like the way everything looks you can brighten things up a little bit um, uh, saturate the color a little bit more pretty straightforward stuff right there here in your audio if the audio is a little quiet you can either uh, increase it or if it's too loud you can decrease it you can do fading in and fading out at the beginning and ends um, you can change your yeah, you can work with the equalizer you can reduce background noise so as you d dig into these menus you see there's actually some pretty cool features that allow you to do um, a lot of work and actually kind of tailor everything perfectly of how you see fit um, so that's really cool options within iMovie once you get everything assembled uh, how you like it um, once you build your video here you can share it a multiple uh, multitude of different ways so you can click on share and from here you can export the video you're working on to iTunes and you can put it on your iPhone or iPad you can export it to iDVD and then assemble a menu kinda like what you do if you stick a DVD or Blu-ray in your um, in your players and you'll see a really nice menu and chapter system that's what uh, this will help you do you can export to YouTube right away um, and that will upload it you can export to Facebook, Vimeo, Vimeo CNN and iReport or you can just export the movie in just kind of a generic format and then you know you can do pretty mu much whatever it is you'd like to do with it um, of course you can do the remove features as well so um, iMovie is a pretty gentle beast um, it can make some really cool videos um, it's really straightforward to use um, one of the m most probably common questions I get is how do I get my videos in there it's again really straightforward just you come up to file and you import you can either import from camera or import from movie so this would be like if something's on your computer um, but I'm just going to click on import from camera because usually you'll come from a camcorder or a phone or something. Just go ahead and click on that. And you see here are some videos I have on my phone. And then um, it will allow me to import all those. I can preview each individual clip. I can uh, manually check which ones I want added or don't want added or I can have it done automatically. So um, that's how you'd import the video. And it would actually store it right down here. So if you had multiple videos for multiple events, I could click on this one, then I could click on a second one. It would give me a whole different set of footage, and I could add that footage up to my main project here. So um, all in all, iMovie, it's really cool. It comes pre-installed on the Mac. One of the best reasons to own one. I recommend play with it. Don't be scared of it. Um, if you have any questions, just go into a Simply Mac and ask, um, ask any of your um, teachers that are in the classes. And we'll be more than happy to take care of you. So um, that's basically iMovie in a nutshell. Um, a very cool program.